Countdown is officially on. NBC's exciting sci-fi drama Timeless returns Monday night. And joining me now to talk about the return are a few of the stars from the show, Matt Lanter and Malcolm Barrett. Hey guys, how's it going? Good, and you? Very good, thank you. So there's good. history, there's drama, it's so exciting. Tell us a little bit about the return of the show. The return of Timeless. We kick off with a bang. Uh, we go to 1893 uh, Chicago World's Fair where we meet H. H. Holmes, which is the first serial killer, if you will, uh, where the term pretty much came from. This guy created a, 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 a hotel specifically to torture and kill people. Architecturally built the thing to do this. Um, I've never heard of this, um, but it's pretty fascinating, and uh, that's where we start. We end up going to, uh, we see Jesse James, we end up going to the 80s one episode, so we got a lot of fun things coming. Yeah, and as soon as we get back, we pick right back where we left off. Um, you know, they try to assassinate Rittenhouse, uh, Lucy's been kidnapped, and we pick up right where that left off. Okay, I was going to say, there's some loose ends we need to tie up. I was very excited when I saw uh, you all would be talking about H.H. H. Holmes. I was just, just listening about a, a podcast that's all about H.H. H. Holmes, and it is so exciting and interesting and mysterious. So um, about the show, what are you guys hoping that people take away from the show other than a history lesson? Uh. I mean, I just, I, I, one of the reasons I signed up for the show is because it reminds me of the, the early Spielberg stuff. Um, it's just the, the, the adventure of it all and the fun of it all. I mean, I, I just hope people can come on a fun adventure with us, you know, once a week and, you know, get to know these characters and connect with them. But more importantly, just have fun watching. Yeah. And I think you see the humanity of the characters and opens conversations, you know. It opens, you know, what can be uncomfortable conversations, some about race, some about history and, and the past and America's, um, you know, different uh, past, which I think is very helpful, particularly in this climate, because you realize how much we evolve, how much we change, and, and how much, you know, the world itself ebbs and flows. And I think it gives you a better understanding of humanity and hopefully a better empathy. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I mean, you read about these people in books all the time, but to see it right in front of your face, it kind of gives you a new perspective. Yeah. Now, what's been your favorite part of the show so far? What's been your favorite history point? <clears throat> oh, man, as far as a, a particular episode, um, I don't know. I, I love the World War II Nazi Germany stuff. I think there's a lot of really interesting, interesting stories to be told in World War II. I hope we get a chance to go back. Um, but, uh, you know, just the week to week, I think as actors, the week to week, uh, essentially playing different roles within a role is, is something that uh, is a blast for us. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, really just getting to live these time periods. Uh, not many actors get to do that on a week to week basis. Yeah, and I feel like for people who are watching, we don't tend to get to live that as we do when we're watching this. So I love the show. I think it's great. It returns Monday night. And if you all want some details on the show, we'll have them on our website. Just go to daytimebluridge.com. Guys, thank you so much for joining me. Go ahead, go get some drinks of water, go eat and sit down. Do you guys watch yourself when, you, when you're all done? Uh, yeah, I watch myself. I'm really good on the show. <laughs> you do? <laughs> why, why wouldn't you? It's the only way you can get better. All right, guys, thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you.